Hello, and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, we're Dave and Jen. When we go on adventures, we like to take you with us. Today, we're going to one of our favourite places, Kingston Lacey, near Winbourne in Dorset. And we'd like to take you with us. There's a space. Yeah. So they've made this all gravel. I don't remember it being. Oh, yeah, maybe I do. Right, here we are. So this is our this is our happy place. <laughs> we come here quite often. Just saying we come here quite often, don't we Jen? Yeah. Kingston Lacey. It's not all that far from us. It's one of those national trust places that's local. And we come here pretty much I don't know. Once a season. At least once a season, yeah. So, you know, about at least four times a year. And uh pays for our national well gets our money's worth from the National Trust membership. Yeah. I mean obviously we visit lots of National Trust places when we go on holiday and out and about and stuff. But this is our kind of little regular local place we come to. Nice walks. Um that the Kingston Lacey house is nice to look around. We're not gonna look around it today. We've looked around it far too many times <laughs> so we just come here just for a nice walk and then chill out and have some lunch in the van so this is a, a nice day trip for us keeps, well, keeps yeah keeps basil moving um we don't usually park here this is usually like the overspill car park um they seem to be doing uh maintenance and um and stuff in the main car park and it looks like they're building a like a little sort of visitor's center so yeah it's a nice fresh day it's november the 17th today just as a point of reference it's basil sunday. and it's a sunday as well yeah Right then, which route should we take? Go yeah, we can go this way. <laughs> Past the snack truck. <laughs> it's always fun spotting Basil in the distance in the car park. Mm -hmm. When we come here. <laughs> We've come here before at Christmas. I think it was a well, Boxing Day, wasn't it? On Mm. The Covid Christmas? Oh yeah, the, yeah. Was it, was it, was it, uh, it was when they, um, it was, allow, it was during lockdown, but they allowed you to come out kind of over Christmas or just after Christmas or something like that for a 20, couple of weeks. 2020 into 2021. Yeah. And you had to book your tickets in a limited amount, but we booked and met our, or your brother and... Yeah, my brother and the family, family and the kids and the... It was nice. Yeah, social distancing and all that malarkey, but we had a nice walk, Boxing Day walk, didn't we? Yeah, yeah that was a weird, 
Christmas as I'm sure it was for everyone. When you go in the house, you see in the monument you see, what's it called, isn't it? got an Egyptian name. Yeah, anyway. They've got an Egyptian room in the house, which was still in the Egyptian stuff. Yeah, because the, uh, the person that lived here was into all of that and in the 1800s and went into Egypt and it's this one anyway it's not this one it's not stour head is it no i'm sure it's in this one i think it might be this one or it could be stour head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one stour of the head's two got all the uh like the little grotto and, grotto and stuff around yeah. yeah that's somewhere we'll have oh, to go back to here actually because there's another yeah. like egyptian kind of thing <laughs> in the i can't remember what it's called obelisk or something like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's quite cool when uh, you got somewhere that you come to all the time just to see it through the different seasons and yeah. it's quite nice seeing the uh, sort of autumnal trees and it literally is it's close to Wimbledon which is a nice little town in Dorset yeah um, Wimbledon Minster Wimbledon's nice to have a little wander around as well at some point yeah not that we ever do, but <laughs> parking's always quite good in the morning. Yeah. But it's about a 20 minute drive for us. Yeah. Just around the corner. Just the other side of the trees is a kids park. Obviously we're not going to film it. Yeah, we're not going to film it, but there's, can hear there's, kids <clears> there's a, a cool little kids park with like all the um, like swings and all that sort of stuff is made from like natural wood and that kind of thing um you, we usually walk so when we come here normally we go past the house and go that way and go all the way around the edge of the estate like all the way around the bottom which is always really quiet mm. but as we've driven in you can see that the, it's kind of closed it's off closed off yeah and actually when we came in sort of january time it was all flooded we couldn't get past it either yeah so yeah it might yeah. be a, a little bit of that and if you if you're ever here if you come out of Kingston Lacey and turn left and just go up the road a little bit, there's a really another nice, um, a really nice other place, National Trust place called Badbury Wing. Yeah. Which is like an Iron Age. Iron Age or, yeah, Bronze, Bronze Age. Age or something like that. Kind of. Mound, you know, one of those mound, the rings with the, yeah. probably had a kind of, some kind of Iron Age fortress or something on the top of it back in the day. Kitchen garden. Pardon? I don't remember this big bush being there often. Uh, yeah, maybe. We haven't been to the kitchen garden for ages, though, have we? Um, spring actually is a good time to come here and everything's all in uh, in um, bloom. Found anything? Sprouts, one pound a bag. <laughs> well, that was the uh, kitchen garden. Where next? Should we go right? Go right and then around that way, I guess. Yeah. Back out near the house. Yeah. 
there's so many different multiple routes you can take walking around here yeah. that's what's so cool you can come here loads of times and never go the same route twice this bit's usually the busiest bit our usual kind of route around the edge is always a lot quieter away from it yeah it is but uh, alas today it seems to be closed off or well, partially closed yeah. off anyway Right, now over here you can probably see a motorhome and a caravan in the distance. This is like a little National Trust campsite. I think it's got like five pitches mm. with electric hookup. Yeah, electric hookup but no facilities, so you'd either have the onboard facilities, toilet and that. Um, <clears throat> and of course, you can always nip across and use. Kingston Lacey's facilities, seeing as you're on site, bit of a track though, but I think you can come into the grounds when they're open. Yeah. I don't think you can come in out of hours. No. So you'd have to uh time your toilet visit. <laughs> yeah. But we might come here for a, a couple of nights at some point. Yeah. It'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? And the cool cool thing walk. is is that you'd get the whole place to yourself after everyone's gone yeah, as well. You can walk across like from there kind of down or something. Hmm. Nice. Here, look. Quite a few around here. It's massive, massive trunks. Yeah, be interesting to know how how old it is. Got to be a hundred years, right? Yeah, e yeah, easily. Do have some resident cows on the site as well. <laughs> now this way used to be the the way back to the car park, but obviously they got that uh, cornered off because they're doing the car park up. But look over here, we've got some sheep, fresh sheared. Yeah, I was going to say they've been freshly sheared. Look very smooth. <laughs> They must be freezing. And there's the entrance to the house there. And also there's the um, gift shops as well, the National Trust gift shops. And then the cafes through there. Quite a nice cafe actually. Been there a few times before we had the, the van. We used to come here in the car. But now we've got the van, we can uh, go back and Cook ourselves something ourselves. Uh, here we are. Back of the march. So I'm gonna set up and have a bit of lunch. Cheese toasties, I think. Yeah. Nice cup of coffee. Here we are. So what are we having then? I mean, cheese toasties. Cheese toasties. And the rib monkey. Nice. Mini cheddar and mini cup of coffee. Lovely. <sighs> that was a nice walk, wasn't it? Nice yeah. yeah, it's a bit nippy today, but uh, it's not too bad. It's just nice to come back to the van afterwards and chill and be able to cook ourselves something when we're in day van mode of course we don't bother putting the um the uh curtains across 
There's a little bit more of a panoramic view at the front there. We're not on electric hookup, obviously, so we're using the gas uh, blower heater. Oh, it's blowing out all now. Yeah, yeah. You can see um, people over there walking this where we walked originally earlier on when we were pointing out the van. <laughs> Cheese toasties are nice. We've got another one on the go. It's pumping out some nice warmth, isn't it? Mm. I don't feel so bad about using it now we've got the new gas bottle. Yeah. So we've got the Eco Flow, and obviously we can't plug into here because this doesn't work because we're not on the electric hookup. So I'm going to make the coffee, and the, this Eco Flow is really good to do that. So, the dual light thing, I've already filled it with milk. It spins. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coffee machine. Yeah, good old Nespresso coffee machine. We've got a couple of pods from home. Decaf. Because it's afternoon. <laughs> and we're old. Wait for it to heat up. And it should do both at once. <laughs> should put like a it? should put like a, a timer thing going on. Yeah, come on, coffee machine. That's the eco flow you can hear. Yeah, powering up. Powering up. There you go. Here's a good little buy that um small. Espresso machine, isn't it? We do double shots in here. We don't at home, but here with this machine because it doesn't seem to do very much. Mm. But I've had it. We've had it long enough to now to work out the right amount of water, really. Yeah. But the the eco flow is strong enough to power the Nespresso and the milk frother, which is pretty. That's pretty good. It's the eco flow mini Delta or Delta Mini. People are leaving now. It's a good day trip van as well as a longer stay kind of, you know, just for day trips to be able to do this and the van is nice. Well, the fact that it's quite small, I mean, this, there's loads of space to park here, but you could pretty much park anywhere. Oh yeah, we've, we've parked in a, just a normal car parking spot in the really because busy town a, car parks and stuff. Back on one of our very early videos when we went to Brixham. We did film that one, didn't we? Uh, we yes, and we went to Dartmouth and we stayed in that, that we parked in that tiny little spot. I was thinking of Dawlish. Oh, Dawlish as Dawlish. well, yeah. Dartmouth, we tried to get in the park and ride, and then we ended up coming down, and then we just squeezed into that car park. Yeah. And then in Dawlish, there was a tiny little space. Oh, I expertly yeah, reverse parked into that. I don't know how I did that, really. But, yeah, I mean, again, it's kind of the same sort of uh, length as a, a large car, really. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm a bit croaky. But, yeah. Cheers. We put the heater back on. Yeah. <laughs> we turned it off because it's like, oh, it's nice and toasty, and then you turn it. Uh, sorry, yeah, and then you, once you turn it off, it's uh, gets a bit chilly again. Second one, I reckon. Yeah. What? Yeah, first time it takes a little while to get going, but must be the heating element. Mm. Yeah, so we like Kingston Lacey. It's always just a nice place to come and then just to chill out in the van. Yeah, we like it. It was our go-to place 
during lockdown. I think we came a couple of times a month, really. Yeah, we came here a lot during lockdown with the van. Yeah. That's when uh, I'm sure anyone else who's got a camper van or motorhome, any other during lockdown where you're able to just get away in your van and be self-contained and be able to, you know, all of that, it kind of came into its own, really. Okay. We're getting out that way. Yeah. Are well, we leaving now? Yep. Gas is off. Master switch is off. Etc. And it'll take us about 10 minutes or so to get home. 10, 15 minutes, or maybe 20. 20, <laughs> 20 minutes. You can almost think that they cut them like that. Yeah, look at those trees. They're very, uh, almost too perfect looking, aren't they? At the same height. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful colours. That's what they're doing when they say they're doing the ribbon thinning. Yeah. yeah I don't know, though. So, look, they've got a Christmas thing coming. Book now for storytelling with Santa. <laughs> it came on, on uh, well, December. It must have been December because they had all the Christmas stuff up. Yeah. Which is kind of quite nice. So, yeah. Kingston Lacey. Put in the comments if you've been to Kingston Lacey, it'd be interesting to know who's been. Or put in the comments where your favourite National Trust place yeah, is. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us know where your favourite National Trust place is. Maybe it's somewhere that's local to you or somewhere where you've been whilst on, on, uh, on holiday or somewhere, because we always like the National Trust members, so we always like to... Uh, visit a National Trust place when we're out and about but yes so as Jen pulls out onto this road we'll leave the video here thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time Bye. thank you for watching our video we hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it Please give us a like, hitting that thumbs up button and feel free to subscribe as well. Then you'll be able to see all our future videos going forward. Until next time, happy adventuring.